Thank you so much, uh, Jason, and uh, first and foremost, uh, good day to everyone. Uh, like Jason mentioned, um, I'm at of course. Uh, I live in Namibia. I work in a cement factory, and uh, I'm looking after the automation of the cement factory. So my journey started back in uh, 2017 uh, when I was doing a lot of research, and uh, you know, because I'm a full-time employee. And uh, I want to excel my, 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 my career academically and, you know, personally as well. So I came across EIT and I've done a lot of research in trying to understand. And uh, I started off with an advanced diploma, advanced diploma back um, in 2017. And I finished it in 2019. Uh, I had a small break, uh, I think for like a month or so. And then I started off with my bachelor's. Um, and I'm really enjoying it, you know, so much so that I've decided to continue my study and I'm starting on the 2nd of January next year in three months time with my master's of industrial automation. So yeah, that, that, that pretty much sums up um, my, my, my profile as a student with EIT. Next slide, please. Yeah, uh, there's a few pictures of me uh, doing my thing, uh, going and, you know, doing, doing my thing. So I'm, I'm, yeah, 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 we can see a little bit of troubleshooting, um, setting up BSDs for specific applications. Uh, that I am very proud of, you know, the cement that I'm making, you know, serving, serving our nation in Namibia. Next slide, please. All right. Um, thank you, Humanus. Um, I'm just going to go through some questions with Humanus to um, help everyone get a bit more understanding of uh, his journey through EIT. So, Humanus, firstly, what, why did you choose EIT? Thanks, Jason. I think there's a there, there was there was a number of reasons uh, when I was uh, you know if 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 I tend to reflect back. So I think first and foremost was uh, the accreditation because I wanted to do something that that is tangible at the end of the day. You don't want to spend all this time and then not have accreditation. So I've looked and uh, I've, I've seen that, you know, all the programs that EIT offer is accredited. So, and I think that was explained previously, the Dublin, the Washington, and the Sydney Accords. Um, and then obviously the lectures as well. So when I went to the website, I, I could immediately see that all these lecturers were, were working professionals. So when you have engagement with them, it's something that they can relate to, you know, like for example, setting up a VSD and they, they can give you some of the application problems that they had before and they can guide you to a few things. Um, um, and then the flex, I think Jason, you, you mentioned that you and Nathaniel, uh, Natalie. So you, you, you're, not, you're not really time bound to a specific thing. Um, you, you can choose between one unit and three units, depending on the net the dynamics you experience at the time of your life. So that that really helped. Uh, I think one of the important things was also, also the IRIS exams. So for me, it was, uh, I don't want to go to a, you know, to a place where I need to go and sit down and get invigilated because again, that creates additional more stress um, to do that. So I really love, uh, you know, the IRIS setup in the comfort of my, my home. I can sit and then I can actually do my exam and get invigilated in that way. Uh, the LSO support, and I think you've quite you, you've elaborated uh, their role uh, in, in in our success as students. So that that, that was very very important. And then uh, it's online. It's something that you can do online. You don't have to physically go and uh, sit in a in a in a in a, in a face to face setup where you need to uh, engage and uh, get your studies done. Fantastic. And it's a, it's a great segue to my next question. Um, how have you found the online learning? Yeah, of course, uh, just like I pointed out, uh, it's, um, it was extremely, extremely beneficial, you know, as a, as a, as a, as a father and as a husband and as a, as a working professional, you cannot just leave your family and just go. So I've, I've found it very beneficial that I can actually study in the comfort of my house. Uh, without leaving and you know you you have all that flexibility which i was uh, which i just mentioned um, the remote labs absolutely love it you know you can go in there you find all the software for your courses you can go and you can get all your stuff done and you can you know bring the results to your assessment and then uh, get that done as well 
Uh, last, uh, last but not least, uh, I think it's the, uh, also the networking. Um, if, if one look at it for a face-to-face -face university, you only tend to get to know those learners, you know, that's inside, inside that university. But with us, with, 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 with the online, you engage with different learners, you know, you, you network more, you, you, you understand different cultures, uh, you engage with more students, um, and then you can you you tend to help each other uh, through this journey because you, you you're supporting each other because you know exactly what it what it uh, what it entails. And then uh, with 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 COVID as well, um, one 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 would see the impact of the face to face universities, um, and it's it's a completely different. Uh, so so I am not delayed to you know, and nothing is avoiding me from graduation, not even COVID. And this is this is uh, how online you know helped me to make sure that it's, it's time bound and it was delivered on time. Fantastic. Um, really glad to hear that uh, you're able to, to network through, uh, through the course as well, which is, um, which is really fantastic. Yeah. How, um, how has EIT helped um, and, and the course helped with your career? Yeah. So if I, if, if I think back uh, a few years, um, I was doing a lot of things um, and, and, and I was solving a lot of problems, but then, there was always that, that knowledge gap of uh, I got this right, but I don't really understand why why it's working this way. You know, if I look at a system, why does it work in this way? So I think uh, the whole study that I've done so far for the last five years have complemented my knowledge so much so that I can look at any system, I can walk into any system and comfortably dissect it, open it, and understand exactly the problem. Uh, so in terms of system structures and um, you know working working in a very structured way, I would say that. That, that, that was one of the uh, key enablers for me. Uh, understanding concepts, uh, problem solving at work, uh, you know, you're the shining star at work because you can, you, you have all this, uh, you know, reduced downtime, uh, problem solving methods, you can implement solutions that actually stick. So yeah, of course this, this worked because now you have all that, you know, that academic knowledge and you have the practical uh, from the labs and you, you connect with uh, lecturers that's actually um, industry-based. And then, um, you know, last but not least, uh, under coach at work, you know, everybody always likes to ask me a question because they sort of know that Elmanas knows it. <laughs> yeah, this, this sort of setting. Yeah, that, that sums it up, uh, uh, Jason. No, fantastic, Hermanus. I'm uh, really glad, glad to hear. I like, I like the fact that you become... Uh, the man at, at work and and the, the go-to person which is um which yeah. is really great to yeah. hear uh thank you very much uh for your time and and uh for uh presenting uh to our listeners out there um and we yeah. hope that um you know you've encouraged uh, some of them to to join some of our courses so thank you very much of course thank you so much thank you so much for having me <laughs>